Hello YouTube, I want to tell you more about Yakutia today. Uh, the Republic of Saha or Yakutia is the largest administrative and territorial subdivision in the world and accordingly the largest part of the Russian Federation. It occupies one-fifth of the territory of Russia. It is such a large area that there could be located seven European countries France, Germany, Italy, Austria, Greece, Finland and Sweden. Okay, let me tell you something that of course uh, you will not hear almost anywhere else in the West or East. In the summer of 2017 a mammoth skeleton was found in Yakutia in which a very ancient spear was discovered. So the scientists of the mammoth museum in Yakutsk undertook the research of the found artifact. They were trying to determine the age of the spear. According to approximate calculations, it is at least 12,000 years old. It's the same period of high mysteries that I have followed, including the Shigir island of Russia and ruins of ancient civilizations in Turkey that I will cover later in my other videos because that country deserves attention with amazing discoveries made there. But the most interesting thing here is the unique features of the spear. Here's what the director of the Mammoth Museum, candidate of biological sciences, Semyon Grigoryev, said about this. Its tip is very sharp and perfectly polished. Russian paleontologist and researchers, Nat researcher Natalia Tubin Tubinovska was struck by the fact that a primitive man without technology, without any high tech, with just a stone tool was able to carve a perfectly smooth tip. I have not heard any breakthroughs that scientists made in the research of this spear. Well, I'm not holding my breath, to be honest. Now, let's look at more discoveries from Yakutia. In Yakutia, on the Bolshoi Nimner River, which is the right tributary of the Aldan, a very unusual stone was discovered, on which traces of artificial processing are clearly visible. This mysterious stone with, the, with an ornament carved on it was found among other stones scattered along the banks of the river. The stone is granite, which raises even more questions about who, and most importantly, what was able to make such an ornament. The stone was found in an area remote from populated uh, regions, where the nearest settlement is at least 60 kilometers away. Is it a game of nature or are those traces of ancient granite processing? Do you think reindeer herders would find tools to carve into granite with precision? And why would they waste time? Their lives have been harsh enough. Anyway, I recall the cauldrons of Yakutia. Look at my video, people. I have pursued this story for years, and they know about my research in the fabulous land of Saha. I know the location where the cauldrons were flooded during the monumental projects of the Soviet Russia. You want to know what real mysteries are? that are not far away from our reach? Look at my video about those mysterious cauldrons. Now look at the next discovery, okay? This mysterious mound is located in the inaccessible Halarchin Tundra on the Kalima Lowland in the Niz Nizhny Kalimsky Ulus Saha Republic Yakutia. Its exceptionally correct shape is striking. In some Russian researchers' opinion, the mysterious mound resembles a flying saucer covered with earth or soil. Um, so it was either crushed or it was abandoned there. Compare this mound with another, no less mysterious formation in the north of the Irkutsk region, the Potom, or Potomsky crater. Look at my video about that, uh, the crater, but here is a brief story. The Potomsky crater is located in the Bodaibinsky district in the north of the Irkutsk region. 
My father served in the Soviet armed forces and he spent some time in the remote called Bodaibo area in the 1950s. Because of my father Boris, I love those distant, harsh but alluring Russian northern territories, full of ancient mysteries and discoveries that are still to be made. Now, this um, Potomsky crater was discovered in 1959, sorry, 1951 by geologist Vladimir Kolpakov and is still one of the most mysterious natural objects in Russia. It is unclear how a crater similar to a volcano but containing no traces of erupted deep rocks appeared on the surface of the earth and how it turned out that this information has no analogs in the world. For a long time it was believed that the Potomsky crater was the consequence of the Tunguska explosion, but large trees were found on the slopes of the crater that appeared before the uh, event took place, 1908, uh, the Tunguska event. But <clears throat> the same larches presented a new enigma. The annual rings of some of them grew intensively for almost 40 years and then this process stopped for some time. Scientists observed a similar picture, so to say, in Chernobyl and in Simipalatinsk, in the nuclear test zone. Did it turn out that there was a surge of radiation in the Potomsky crater? It turned out that actually, yes, scientists have discovered that in 1845 there was a five-fold increase in the radioactive isotope in the wood in the crater, uh, we, um, which lasted for several decade, decades. Sorry, The reasons for the increased background radiation at that time when no nuclear research was happening is out of the question and still are unclear. Well, people believe that the similarity of the two objects is explained not by external reasons, but by the similarity of their natures. There is something inside both that may not be of terrestrial origin. And they're not too far away, located too far away from each other, you know, Siberia, Yakutia, it's, it's all there. Now, how strange that I recall Ivan Efremov, because the Yakutia discoveries bring me back to the enigmas of Ivan Efremov, the Soviet scientist and writer who was suspected by the KGB, uh, the Soviet secret police, at first to be a British spy, but then more seriously, they suspected him to be an extraterrestrial operating on Earth, um, particularly in the Soviet Union. The gift of scientific foresight was one of the remarkable features of Ivan Yefremov. The accepted hypothesis was that he followed the logic and tendencies of the studies of that time, relying on experience and encyclopedic knowledge. For example, the writer predicted that there are diamonds in Siberia. He knew that in South Africa precious stones are extracted from kimberlite rocks generated at great depths due to explosive volcanism. These rocks are common in stable geological regions. In the USSR there were such areas as well. For example, the Siberian platform. Ivan Efremov suggested, why not look for kimberlite rocks there? Moving upstream a river, you can find a place from where the minerals originate. This is where diamond kimberlites may be found. These deductions are described in detail in Yefremov's wonderful short story Diamond Pipe, published in 1945. It was with the help of this method that geologist Larisa Papugaeva discovered the first diamond bearing tube in Yakutia in 1954. And that was when this was when the KGB became interested in Yefremov's insight and foresight. And that's why, I'm, that's why I, want to, I wanted to mention here something. Stellar ships, or starships, um, in Russian Zvezdne Karabli, is a short story by that Soviet writer and paleontologist Ivan Yefremov. 
and it was written in 1944 and first published in 1948 in the USSR. This story is about the discovery of an ancient dinosaur bone with a mysterious bullet hole or blaster hole and an alien skull and its portrait found nearby. This acts as a starting point and a cover story to the philosophical idea of plurality of the mind cradles in the universe, similarity of planet evolution paths, and similarity of physiology and psychology between us and different sentient people or beings that populate the universe. Efremov states that the final perspective for all civilizations is the great circle which will unite them all. Efremov, whoever he was, knew something. He influenced my life, for example. I got to fall in love with Africa because of his ideas too. And I went there. And I will bring you more interesting discoveries that were made, for example, in Africa and paranormal phenomena that almost no one talks about. Keep your eyes on Namibia. The, uh, Ephraimov also wrote about it. There will be fascinating discoveries in the Namib, in the desert and the, in the waters of the skeleton coast. One day soon. And do not forget Yakutia. I have more to tell you in the future. Most, more spellbinding discoveries made in that land. So that's what I wanted to let you know today. Um, if you can support my research, please do so. You will find links in the description to this video. And stay tuned for more interesting discoveries made in the former Soviet Union, modern Russia, in Eurasia, including China, of course, because there's much more to tell about that land as well. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel and tell others as well.